Well, g'day there, traders and friends right around the world. Thanks for joining me on this Thursday afternoon market recap. What I'd like to do to begin with is speak about this Google trade which we had set up over the weekend. It has triggered today and it's also hit our first target here at $558 a share. This is really the quintessential breakout, the retest and the continuation type of trade which we've been looking for and expecting for about a week or two right now. Today on Google, we saw that it was up close to $12. We broke out above our 548.48 trigger yesterday. That was on Wednesday's trading session. And today we just saw some really strong commitment and follow through on the price of Google. Very nice volume expansion coming into this particular trade also. It's really just the perfect type of trade setup. You can see how we based, we established that uh, most recent higher low right here. Here. We established another higher low most recently three days ago and we've just retested this pivot point and we've resolved ourselves to the upside. A very nice trade right there. So if you're in this stock, uh, you probably would have exited at 558. If not, you have the opportunity to maybe take some profits tomorrow. But really the next type of trade on Google is going to be the multi-month trend, which we're really sort of starting to establish given that this is what we call a three-day, three white soldier candlestick pattern. It sets up generally at the beginning of a new trend and it is, it is exactly in the right location where we would expect to see a candlestick pattern, a three-day pattern of this sort. So Google is looking exceptionally strong at the moment. Congratulations on that trade. It's really... um you know, being a stellar trade for this entire week at the moment. Having a quick look at the three US markets, the Dow Jones Industrial Average continues to move sideways, more or less another relatively flat trading session. We were quite mixed across the markets. The Dow Jones today was down slightly, so was the S&P 500. But when we have a look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ was the exception once again, up a further 20 points. Now, I've spoken about the carrot, uh, so to speak, which is being dangled in front of the NASDAQ at least, we're still yet to make that all-time high. And that all-time high is going to come up here about 5,105, if not a little bit higher. So it's as if the markets are really trying to stretch themselves to the upside in order to hit this long-term macro resistance level going back to the year 2000. If I bring up the monthly chart, if my charting software wants to work with me, there we go, bringing up the monthly chart. You have to look back at the year 2000 to see this all-time high on this one particular monthly candlestick, of course, before we saw the burst in the dot-com bubble. So if you're looking at the markets and you're looking at trending type of markets, you have to expect that the NASDAQ at least is going to continue you know, up until this level, at this moment in time when we do hit this strong resistance level, I'll be relatively flat in our overall trades, at least to the upside, because we can expect selling pressure to really stop the current bullish trend breakout, which we're seeing on the NASDAQ, also on the Dow Jones, and also on the S&P 500. Moving into some additional stocks, Apple is doing exactly as we expected. You can see it is pulling back. We came into the week, at least over the pro analysis class, saying that we need to see a retracement. We need to see a really... Um, you know, a, a pullback of some form, either if it was a stair step pattern where we move sideways, or if in fact we were setting up what we call a bull flag, where we resolve ourselves to the upside. At the moment, it looks as if we're really starting to establish a nice uh, bull flag. You can see today some nice volume surge coming down at that lower wick. It's really showing that, look, Apple is overextended. It's very, very healthy, but at the same time, it needs to reset. So this is a trade which is going to come to us next week. Amazon today tried to push higher, <clears throat> pardon me, we have a little bit of a shooting star on this particular candlestick. You can see our entry here at 386.80. Again, I'm in this trade also. Uh, it's down about a dollar or two dollars from our initial entry price. Just sit tight on this particular trade. My stop is still 375.99 on Amazon. I'm expecting it to continue as I do with the overall markets. Barba today is basing. We have what we call a one black uh, candlestick or one black crow or pardon me it's a, it's a bearish um, dark cloud cover which is quite interesting so this is somewhat negative for the price of barber it's really just hitting this macro support level no real trade at the moment but it was had an inside day spinning top yesterday we had that very nice engulfing candlestick pattern but again the net movement is absolutely flat on body there's going to be a bollinger band squeeze soon on that particular trade if in fact you know price continues to move sideways the same is true with caterpillar at the moment we've been stuck for a month in this trading area right here here. But this is where a lot of people give up on the overall stock. They say to themselves, well, you know, Caterpillar hasn't done anything for a month. This stock is largely largely dead. And they couldn't be more wrong. This is just setting up the next bi-directional trade setup, which I'm very, very excited for over the weekend. I'm going to update you over the weekend in that pro analysis class because it's going to be an exceptional trade when it does trigger. FAS has hit our target for the past two days. Today, we had a little bit of a pullback. 
down about a dollar on FAS. There's no trade at the moment. You shouldn't be in a trade in FAS. We're just waiting for that next trend continuation type of trade on FAS. Look at Facebook today. Isn't that a beautiful picture to see? Let me show you the high of this candlestick. 81, oh, let me just put my cursor over here. 81, 37. Now we had a target here at 81.39. So we are in this trade still as swing traders if you trade to your target. It's a very nice candlestick to the upside. It is somewhat of a shooting star, but this trade is, you know, acting the way we want it to. Look at the volume come back into Facebook. Nice two day volume. We're getting the breakout of the bull flag. You know, everything's sort of ticking the boxes. Yes, we saw a short term consolidation. You know, so what? We're really resolving ourselves in the current direction, which we expected over the weekend. Google I've already referenced to the upside. GoPro is sort of just, you know, somewhat asleep at the moment. The same is true for HAL. Netflix hit our target at 484.80. Congratulations if you sold at your target. That was another exceptional trade. Congratulations on that. Tesla is just fizzling out at this location. This is why I didn't set up a short trade over the weekend because we had a limited downside and that's exactly what we're seeing on Tesla. So sit tight on Tesla. It'll come good, you know, maybe in a couple of trading sessions. And to conclude with today, Twitter's starting to make its break to the upside. Same with Facebook. You can see these stocks, we get entered into some of them. And it may take a couple of days, but it's no reason whatsoever to exit out of these stocks prematurely. All right, follow your plan. We had a stop here at 47.30. You can move this up right now because the trade is profitable. We can start to limit risk and lock in a net gain on all of these positions which we've been following from that pro analysis class. So congratulations, everyone. Keep up the fantastic work. We're starting and of course, continuously being rewarded by the market for discipline trading. And you know, you're doing an, an exceptional job given these trades which we're following each and every day. So um, what I'll do, I'll end it there for this Thursday afternoon market recap. If you have any questions whatsoever, email me success at pivotpoint-trading.com. Other than that, enjoy your Thursday evening and I will be back most likely for a little Friday afternoon market recap or a weekend edition over the weekend. So all the best um, friends and traders right around the world. I'll see you all over the weekend at least. Goodbye.